Yo, what up? It's Alex. I'm here to do a first impressions on my Mac 2 3.5 Blau. Check that out. I'm here to do first impressions on this bad boy. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, just a little breakdown of the knife before we get to it. Uh, you got full titanium handles, frame lock, tie clip, as far as I know, pretty sure it's tie, steel hardware, steel screws. Um, the blade steel is magna cut and it's hollow ground. So there's your specs. Um, so let's get to it. Um, so usually I do three things I like, three things I don't like. Uh, today it's going to be a little expanded and we're going to do five and five. So five things I like, five things I don't. Um, so let's get to it. Um, first, we'll do the likes. Uh, so first off, the, the action. The action on this guy is excellent. Absolutely, it, it's great. Absolutely awesome. Get out of here, notification. All right, absolutely awesome action. The, uh, it's on thumb studs, drop shut, blow. Check that out. So it's a guillotine. The thumb stud, it's a, well, first, it's not a super strong detent. It definitely breaks out, but it's not like clicky or anything. Um, it's not necessarily a strong detent. But that doesn't mean that the action or the deployment is necessarily soft. The way these thumb studs are positioned, the angle and everything, and the way they are with the pivot and the detent, they they make for a snappy open. So the thumb, bam, is excellent. Drop shut. Middle finger flick, excellent. Drop shut. So yeah. Action on this guy, top notch. Excellent action. Uh, next, uh, these are not in a specific order, but uh, next, this thing's USA made. That That's a big thing to me. Um, now, usually I'm not a, a big, like, it's got to be USA or whatever. I'm not that guy. Um, but when I can have something USA made, I love that. Um, this guy... Comes with a flag right there on the blade, USA, and uh, yeah, proud to proud to rep my country, proud to flaunt it. So yeah, I love that it's USA made. Uh, next, so this is the Atomic Green colorway with the Shockwave milling pattern. Both sides. I love how the clip lands right in the center. That's sick. Um, so that is special to me specifically because here it's here in Texas, uh, we have an amusement park called Six Flags, Six Flags over Texas, um, and they have a ride called the Shockwave, and it is green. So it this knife reminds me of my childhood which is which is just awesome uh so i've got the green shockwave mac 2 3.5 i love that i love that i have the green shockwave uh next uh i had to disassemble this knife earlier and it was it was easy it was surprisingly easy i looked up a disassembly video just just in case uh I really just said, I don't really care, screw the video, and just went for it. And uh, let me tell you, it's super easy. Three screws, and you're, and you're fully disassembled. So you got your pivot, and then you got your two body screws right here. And that's that's it. Other than that, you've got the, the other side of the pivot. You've got your clip screws, which you don't even have to touch. And look, no screw heads on this side. Yeah, 
pretty sweet touch right there. I love that. Um, so yeah, three screw disassembly. Three screw, I don't want to call it three screw construction, but three screws and you're, you're apart. Um, so that is sick. Uh, next thing is the blade shape. Blade shape is sick on this guy. So you got a really traditional drop point, kind of fatty, and, you know, kind of tall. And uh, it's got a slight, slight recurve. Not as, not quite as dramatic as it was on the prototype, but it's got just a slight, slight recurve. Um, for those of you who don't know what it means, it kind of comes out right here. Anyways, it's got a, uh, it's got a beautiful blade, and, uh, I love that the tip isn't, like, super pointy, it's a little, not blunt, but it's a little blunted, you know? I love it. Um, I love the blade shape. So, those are, is that five likes? Yeah, that was all five likes. So, uh, where are we at? 620? That's pretty good. So, uh, let's get into the dislikes. I think this is what people are more interested in, is the dislikes. Uh, you know, what? what's wrong with it? What's wrong? Is it fucked up? So, let's, let's get to it. My dislikes. First off, really don't need it open for this. The clip. Let's check this clip out. Right there. Okay. You see it. I'm sure you see it already. The ramp is very, very minimal. This thing is a little tough to get in pocket sometimes. Uh, I wear basketball shorts most of the time. And typically, I, I haven't had a problem except for twice. Two times I've had, I've had issues just because my shorts went perfectly flat uh, right at the seam. Uh, anyways, it goes in... I'm naked, so not naked, but you know, uh, it goes in easy though. Once, if you don't have thick pants and it just gets over your seam immediately, goes in well, but I will say the ramp could use some work. I might bend mine. I don't know if these are bent by hand and they just kind of didn't bend mine as much as some, but there's very little ramp here. Uh, yeah. So that's my first dislike. My second dislike, number two, is this thing has steel cage steel bearings. I'm not hyped on that. I'm not very excited about that. Um, I would much pref much rather see uh, a bronze, a phosphorus bronze, uh, bron ugh, a, phos I'm, a phosphorus bronze uh, cage. With uh, ceramic balls, you know, I feel like that's kind of the standard. Uh, however, with some of these American-made American, American -made companies, they are going with steel on steel. They're going with steel cage, steel balls. Uh, personally, I don't love that. Uh, that's why it's in the dislikes. So, yeah. Next, uh, there is no lock bar insert. Okay, so as you see, there is, there's no, it's just the titanium, right? Just the titanium, there's nothing in there, there's, you see no silver in there, there's no steel. There is no lock bar insert, which means this blade is riding, is locking up directly on the titanium, which I think is carbonized, and I haven't had any issues with it, but... I would prefer if there was a uh, lock bar insert. I would prefer that it would make me more comfortable. I probably would have bought one sooner. I definitely would have bought one sooner because that's one of the things that held me back from it. Now that I have it, I'm very happy to have this knife though. So yeah, no lock bar insert. Um, I don't know how big of an issue that'll be over time. We'll see. I'm sure McNeese will take care of you. Um, I I really believe that they're going to take care of you. Um, yeah. 
if you have any issues with it, which I don't know anyone that has. I don't know anyone that's had issues with the F5.5, which is a titanium frame lock with no insert. I don't know anyone that's had issues with that. Um, so I don't know how big of an issue it could be. It might not even be an issue, but I want to bring it up because it would make me more comfortable if it was there. So no lock bar insert. Next, no over travel stop, which means the lock bar you see how this moves? It So it comes up under the blade, locks that up, blade won't move, push it over, blade unlocks, closes. Okay, no over travel stop means this lock bar doesn't necessarily just stop when it's unlocked. So I can continuously push this if I want to. I'm never going to do that on purpose, but it's it makes me a little worried because if I do end up over traveling it even slightly over time, just over time, I feel like the buildup could maybe mess with the detent and stuff like that. I'm not sure. I don't know how that holds up over a long period of time. It would make me more comfortable if it was there, the over travel stop, just like the lock bar insert. But, you know, you get what you get. That's that's how it comes. That's how it is. Honestly, I haven't had any issues with that. I've had zero issues with lock up, with uh, none of that. I've had zero issues with it. But it's on my dislikes because it'd make me feel better if it were there. So, there you go. Uh, five... This is a big one. This was the driving force of me making this video right now. Um, so I took I took this knife apart earlier. Let's let's start. Let's restart. So sorry, I got a burp. Oh, excuse me. Um, so I took this guy to brunch today. Brunch. Took this guy to brunch. It was about a thirty minute drive. I'm in the car, giving her some flicks. Giving her some clothes, some blam, some blooms, all the shebangs. So it winds up gaining detent lash. Like right now, there's a tad. There's a tad right now of detent lash. I don't know if you can even see it. You just see my hand moving. You can't really see it. Um, but you can feel it. Um and that is because, I'm pretty sure it's because there is dirt or something has gotten on the stop pin, which is this little bar right here. So, you pretty much have to keep that clean or else you're going to get some detent lash. It's getting a little worse now. Maybe you can see it moving a little bit. Um... When I picked this up at Blade Show Texas, I made sure to check for detent lash because I've heard about that. Um, so that that's one of the first things I checked for. It was a rock. Just before starting this video, it was a rock. Uh, absolute bank vault. Now it's got a little lash. Now let me let me try cleaning off the stop pin. Let me see if it's just dirty or something. Uh, I'll let you know if it fixes it right now. Let me kind of get my shorts, kind of twist it up so I can get up in there. Okay. Blow, blow. Got that. Let me get this spot. All right. So I've wiped it. Let's see if there's detent lash. None. None. Zero. So, so that is... A big con to me, I don't want to have to clean my fucking stop pin all the time because uh, it might gain detent lash if I if I don't have it clean. I don't want to have to do that all the time. So hopefully it's just a break-in thing. I don't know. But that is, that's frustrating. And another thing to go with that, the uh, the stop pin, when I took it apart and put it back together... I must have put the stop pin in the wrong way. I must have flipped it uh, because it had 
if you shook the knife, it would rattle. And it was the stop pin. Um, so that is, that was a little, a little infuriating. Um, you know, it's a brand new knife. I just got it, what, maybe a week ago? Yeah, I got it last, last Friday. I've had it for a week. Um, so yeah. That, uh, that detent lash when it's dirty, that, that kind of pisses me off because you just have, you have to have it clean. So... For, to me, it's a con. To you, it might not be a con. You might just have your knife clean at all times. Uh, I'm not. I'm not hard using this guy at all. I haven't even cut anything with it this week. Uh, I don't think I have. Uh, and I got detent lash uh, from it being uh, dirty. I hell, I just cleaned it before this video. I took it apart, cleaned it, lubed it, the whole shebang, and it had a little detent lash after this video after flicking it some in this video so that's my biggest con so uh yeah i'll uh i'll run through them right quick uh so likes action usa made green shockwave the color and the pattern three screw disassembly that's sick and the blade shape love the blade shape so useful um so sexy i should say because i haven't used it so, dislikes, let's run through them right quick. Clip is shallow on the ramp. The ramp is shallow. Steel cage, steel bearings, no lock bar insert, no over travel stop, and decent lash when it gets dirty. So, this knife is a little finicky. Um, if you're thinking about buying one, would I still recommend it at this point? Now, I've only had it for a week. It could just be breaking uh break in with that detent lash thing um but what I, I don't know about that i don't know if it's just break in but would i still recommend this knife if you like the knife yes i would recommend it if you like this knife i would recommend it definitely um if if you are absolutely ocd that detent lash will absolutely wreck you maybe don't get it um, if you do, just, I don't know, just keep, uh, be ready to clean it, you know? Be ready to take care of it. Be ready to keep it in tip-top shape, because that's what it needs. Um, so guys, that's been my first impression on the Mac 2 3.5 by McNeese. American made bad boy. American bad boy right here. Bam. Wish I had better lighting. We'll figure that out for the full review. Um, this guy, this full review on this guy, probably not coming soon. If that's something you're looking for, it's probably not coming soon. The full, the, my next video should be, it could be tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be the Vero Axon full review. I've done some cutting with it. I feel like I know what I need to know to review it. So, I feel like I can give a good quality review on that thing. Um, so yeah, that's going to be my next video. Might come out tomorrow. Shit, today's Friday. <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah, it's probably not coming out tomorrow. I'm busy tomorrow. Probably busy the next day. So, sheesh, we're, actually, <laughs> we're looking at uh, sometime next week for the Axon full review. But it'll definitely be here before next Friday. Uh, it'll be here sometime during the week next week, for sure. And, uh, yeah. That's what I got for you guys. Just under 20 minutes. Man, I, I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, I've been just absolutely killing it in the knife hobby, in the knife game. I feel like I've just been racking up my grails. Uh, I picked up a, uh, I picked up something, uh, yesterday man uh anyways guys it'll i'm sure it'll make the channel if it doesn't i'm sure it'll make my instagram 100 percent. check me out at bootleg underscore cowboy and uh yeah that's that all right guys i'm out get yourself a mac 2 3.5 or either 3 inch whatever all right i'm out